Christina Keneally has been installed in a safe Labor seat, displacing a local candidate, a Vietnamese Australian lawyer who has lived in the community and served that community. Why do all Australian political parties have a diversity problem? And what message does this send to young, talented people of colour who may now be turned off from joining party politics? Mariam, does politics have a diversity problem? Oh, <clears throat> hell yes, it does. <laughs> um, look, for me... Uh, the... There's a bit of diversity here tonight <laughs> in politics, I, have, I must say. There is, but I'm not running for parliament. Um, so, look, the point I'd Can make on this... <laughs> the point I'd make on this is that, first of all, as was noted by the questioner, this is... The Labor Party doesn't have a monopoly on this issue of having diversity. Uh, uh, you know, frankly, from a female perspective, um, you know, the Labor Party is doing far better than others. Noting, however, that there is a bit of a pecking order here when it comes to diversity. When it comes to culturally diverse women, there is an intersectional um, identity there. And time and time again, whether it's in Parliament, and the stats are sober, sobering in this regard, whether it's in Parliament, whether it's in the top echelons of Australian society, what we find is culturally diverse women, like me, um, you know, they don't... They, there's a proportionate under-representation. And, and it's the same issue in Fowler. Um, we're talking about an electorate um, that is incredibly diverse um, and it, this is just a missed opportunity and frankly there was I think another piece that came out about someone else sharing their experiences this is a very common issue amongst culturally diverse mm. women in particular and we need to tackle it, it ha Parliament has to be representative and it's not like the way people see diversity is this uh, idea of like a, a sprinkling of diversity like the way that you'd perhaps put some salt on your mm. chips that's not what we need. We need critical mass. Yes, yeah, so I think it was Anne Alley who said diversity is more than wearing a sari or eating kung pao chicken. Precisely. Um, but uh, <laughs> just just to choose question as well, she said that Christina Keneally has been installed. She hasn't yet, Linda. But it does raise this issue, issue of how can Christina Keneally, um, who does not come from there, uh, represent those Fowler better than a local Vietnamese woman um, who comes from that community? Can I, I'll come to that, but can I just say, <laughs> can I just say that diversity is more than uh, cultural heritage? Of course. Diversity is people with disability. Exactly. Mm. Diversity is gay people. Yep. Uh, diversity is not just, uh, uh, you know, about your ethnic diversity. Now let's come. Let's come okay. to this. So, How does Christina <laughs> Keneally better suit? than a local Vietnamese woman who was who was looking to be installed in that in that in that uh, seat. Look, politics is contested. Um, sometimes you like the outcome, and sometimes you don't. Uh, I have known Christina Keneally for longer than anyone else in Canberra. Two thousand and three, we were both elected on the same day, and she is a talented, competent. Uh, very important part of but the But, Linda, party. This, this is about a deal. She was in the Senate. She was being moved down the yeah. ticket. Let's find a convenient seat for someone who's been moved down the Senate ticket to keep her in the Parliament at someone else's expense. This is a deal. Ah, uh, well, there's lots of deals in politics, Stan. Um, and in relation to diversity, I'm, a, I'm an example of diversity in the Australian Labor Party. And how long did it take to get the first Aboriginal person elected to the woman elected to the House of Representatives? 157 years. Um, I That's don't. The issue, though, don't you? Think? I, I don't. Yes, it <laughs> it's is. It's taken issue. too long. We can't. But afford diversity to is something that the Labor Party gets, and it is. Uh, it is right, Marion. It, Marion, it, it takes a long time, but can I, I can assure you. Uh, that this has been a healthy discussion. Carl, how do you feel as a Labor mayor? Look, I'm, uh, I'm, I understand that all political parties, Labor, Liberal and all of them need to do better when we uh, have people elected to Parliament that represent multicultural Australia, represent the communities um, full of people of different backgrounds. But necessarily, I mean, frankly, we're quite... We're, we're all Australian. And I think it's important... Um, that the people of Fowler have someone that's going to be able to... Well, they'll make to, the final decision. To, to, ..to fight for them, 
to make sure that um, their concerns, their aspirations... But they're only going to get to choose the candidate that the party decides Correct. is the right candidate. They're not yeah. getting to make a decision on who else. It is called pre-selection, <laughs> it is, but that, that's the choice they're going to get. Then, the question here is, wh who is making that choice? Then the party's making that choice at the end of the day. We, the party puts up the pre-selection candidates and Christina will be a fantastic member for Fowler should she get elected. Stand She'll be able to take Jeff. the aspirations <laughs> to, to Canberra. Um, to help those people and, and the concerns that they have. She, she was the Premier of New South Wales. She understands multicultural communities in, in New South Wales. She's a senator for New South Wales. No, this isn't about Christina Keneally per se. There is a bigger issue at play here and I appreciate this is a really tricky terrain for any political party but there is an opportunity here to send a broader message around cultural diversity. About 4% of federal MPs are from a non-European background. <coughs> Sorry, 4% mm -hmm. in Parliament but about 20% outside of Parliament. That's not proportionate representation. Time and time again and she Julie is a, a fantastic candidate. This is not about Christina Keneally's competence. Of course she's competent. This is about the broader message that this sends. You can't aspire to be what you can't see. And when we look at Parliament, you're in, there's incredible examples of diversity, absolutely. But when we look at Parliament, we look at the top echelons of Australian society, that representation is simply not there and we can do better. And this is an opportunity for the Labor Party and I, would, I wish they would take it. Dave Sharma. Look, I'm, I'm not going to get involved in Labor Party <laughs> politics. Ultimately, that's between the Labor Party and the people for Fowler. But, I, I, look, I completely signed up to the broader point here that the parliament needs to look more like modern-day Australia, and it doesn't. Uh, let's be honest. Um, and, you know, we all have a duty as parties but also as elected representatives and, you know, leaders of a sort to make sure that we encourage people to get into parliament who don't fit the normal mould, um, whether we mentor people from a diverse background in whatever way... Um, and encourage them to get into but public Julie life. But Julie was mentored. She, all of mm. those things happened, but she can't even pass that initial yeah. hurdle. And this is where the policy makers come into play, yes. and this is why we should have cultural diversity targets. Well, John Lee, this panel tonight um, is a bit of a tick for diversity, I have to say. Um, but j j just to get the, the final word from you on this, uh, we can talk about diversity and we can talk about ticking boxes. Um, there's also the question about whether you get the right people. Um, where do we draw the line in, in representation and diversity and also getting the best representation for people? Well, I, I think you start by not reducing someone to one thing. Look, I'm ethnically Chinese Malaysian. I'm very proud I'm Chinese Malaysian. That's not, who, that's not all that I am. I would like to see more Chinese Malaysian people in Parliament, but I wouldn't vote for someone just because they were Chinese Malaysian. Mm. Mm. I would want to ask what else they want to do, how they think, what their temperament is, and so on. Whether essentially whether they make a good candidate, I have I don't know Tuli at all, so I have no idea what kind of candidate she is. But I would note that a lot of the commentary in the media has just focused on her ethnic background, mm. and I think it needs to be about more than that.